Welcome back to WBZ News on TV's 38. It's known as the Rock Pile, the top of New England. That's Mount Washington, and it stands at nearly 6,300 feet. Our next weather chief meteorologist, Eric Fischel, tra traveled up today, and I caught up with him on the summit. Gotta ask, how was the ride up? <laughs> we got a special ride up today. Uh, today's weather was gorgeous. It was actually less wind than in Boston. It's pretty warm. You barely need a jacket today. But we had that storm over the weekend, and it was the biggest storm of the season. A couple feet of snow up here. The drifting was nuts. And usually it takes about an hour and a half to two hours. It took us seven and a half hours of snow we had today to get up. And at least you have a beautiful sunset, it looks like, that you're going to be yep. seeing here in a little bit. Uh, tell people why you're actually at the summit of Mount Washington. Yeah, so they have a really cool program up here. If you are interested in nature or just learning more about extreme weather, they're called edu trips. And basically, people can sign up and pay a fee to come up here. You get to stay overnight in the winter, which is something a lot of people don't get ever to do. And then there's usually an instructor talking about some different subject matter, usually weather or nature. Uh, and so I am the professor for this particular night. So we've got a group up here. Uh, we're going to talk about how we do uh, meteorology at WBZ, how broadcast works, some of the extreme weather we see here in New England. Are you expecting any sort of extreme weather there over the overnight or into tomorrow? No, it was over the uh, weekend. Actually, this trip got postponed. It was supposed to be a couple of weeks ago. And when we were supposed to have it was the day of the strongest wind of the entire cold season. They got to do 150 miles a minute, which today's ride is tough, but that ride is impossible. Um, and today we've had just the most calm, unusually calm weather you could possibly ask for. In talking with Eric, it felt like he was in heaven. And it he, sounds he was closer like to it. heaven too. Yeah. Uh, but beautiful stuff. It is incredibly rare for it to be a late March day, to have completely clear skies, almost no wind on the summit like that, like he lucked out. And imagine how fun it is to learn about that and learn about weather there from him. Like, like weather is pretty interesting in general, but to yes. do it there. Yeah, and if there is a professor that you wanna learn from, it's Eric Fisher. <laughs> I learned from Eric Fisher. He's our professor here at WBZ. Uh, I wanna take you outside. Right now it's 30 degrees. Again, the home of the world's worst weather. Sometimes it can be blowing, as Eric mentioned, 150 miles an hour, wind chills 50 below. Not the case right now. He also mentioned the trip up. It took him seven and a half hours in a snowcat. The reason for that, they picked up quite a bit of snow in New Hampshire with this past weekend storm. They picked up 20 to 30 inches of snow and a lot of snow drifts blew over that auto road and they literally had to plow them up uh, so it took them a while to do so.